Live from the internet, it's the Dr. Tom the Frog Show! Hi-ho, this is Dr. Tom the Frog, and you're watching the Dr. Tom the Frog Show, where we talk about role-playing games! Uh, again, we've got a, a fantastic background here from uh, from Jeff Brown. Uh, check him out, and we've got at the end of the show, you can find a link to, to find him. I am super excited because tonight we have uh, we have Ryan Macklin, who's the writer of uh, of lots of games and and also a, a a blogger. How are you doing, Ryan? I am doing fantastic. How are you doing, Doctor Tom? Oh well, I'm happy like like a room without a roof. <laughs> right, Wait, you you live in a room without a roof? Like, no, I was is the song the well, it's, it's it's never mind. Uh, so anyway, I, I'd like to thank you for being here. It's almost as if Fate has brought us together. It has. Has it? I I don't I don't pay attention to uh, tr trivial matters of the of the twenty first century anymore. Why Why is that, uh, Ryan Macklin? I'm trying to embrace my roots. Now I understand that you've got a, a game that you just recently released. It I've got a I've got a little bit of an autobiographical game going on. Yeah. So uh, it's called. Uh, katanas and trench coats. Um, this this sounds ominous. Holy frijoles. I am so glad this is a hangout. I'm, I'm kind of intimidated. So so what's going on with this game, katanas and trench coats, man? Oh, I'm 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 glad you asked because I'm super excited. Uh, I've put together this game um, that is. Uh, celebrating the sort of stuff that a lot of us did in the 90s role playing games like you know we we loved playing white wolf games you know we loved stuff like you know highlander and uh and like shadowrun and and all those sort of things so and that's always stuck in like there's a certain segment of like the the tabletop gaming zeitgeist that keeps going back to this and um it sort of just like became one joke that Steve Kenson tweeted of why isn't there a Katanas and Trench Coats playing game, and I made a joke post over a year ago about it, and it eventually spiraled into actually making a thing with 27, 30 of my friends, um, and we just sort of made a silly game about uh, being immortals going around, immortaling it up in uh, the setting of Darkest Vancouver. Huh. Now, it's funny that you released three editions of this. I thought there could be only one. <laughs> I I actually intentionally go against that trope for well one might possibly say you know legal reasons but uh, that's actually one of the things that I don't play with in the in in the idea of immortals is the whole uh, every immortal's got to cut every other immortal's head off because um, I'm big on the idea that if you're going to cut someone's head off it should be a personal reason not just for a generic the prize and I got a lot of personal reasons for head cutting that's what I'm saying oh, not with uh, you you're cool. Uh, that's thank you. I, is is there a LARP component? Because I'm noticing there's a lot of pictures on the uh, the the Googles uh, with katanas and trench coats. We we do have the first part of the LARP rules in the back of katanas and trench coats episode one. Welcome to Darkest Vancouver. Uh, they're playable um, out of the box, um, and in future episodes, uh, we'll release more of the components so that you can complete your LARP set. Oh, now. Now, are you going to stay true to the uh, the original, and all subsequent editions are going to be progressively worse? Um, you know, I don't think we'll try to do that, but I think that will just be an artifact of the process. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, now, you know, because let's let's and you know, I, I well, my hope is that when we put out episode two, everyone will claim it doesn't exist, because then you know that really just that, that captures the soul and the essence. Nice. And then you could do a director's edition that sucks less, but still kinds of sucks. Yeah, pretty much. But, you know, it still, you know, takes your money. Not unlike having three editions of a single 24-page game. But what is your favorite part of Katanas and Trench Coats? Um, so, I really loved working with all of the people involved, and I think the bit that probably gave me the most laughter was reading the there's a section on um, on different like antagonists in the world. I call it uh, uh, dancing in a perilous tango, uh, and I like 
I pretty much cracked up every time one of my writers uh, uh, got me one of those. Like I'm just like reading this, like oh, oh man, this is so. I would have treated this so seriously twenty some odd years ago. <laughs> this is great. Um, so yeah, so so I think that one there and uh, working with Adam Jury on the layout has just been majestic, as I think the word I'll use for that. It's it's been majestic. Right, and, and, and enough talking about all these uh, silly, fun things. It's time for a serious question. Are you ready for a serious question, Ryan? That's the, me saying yes, by the way. Oh, well, I could ton is out mean yes. All right, note, note to self, all right. That also oh. can mean no. So, it's like aloha. Hmm. Okay, well, you told me it's yes, so I'm going with yes. Here's your yes. serious question. If if you could have one superpower, what would it be? I am all about teleportation. Why? Why? Because uh, I think that being able to bamf uh, is totally awesome. It would make me an amazing fighter because I would just like bamf and then you know sort a guy. Uh, I wouldn't have to do fancy moves. Also, I could be a smuggler going across like you know, country lines all the time. So if I ever, you know, was out of work, I could totally, you know, pick up a new career uh, in the criminal underworld. Or I could just be really good at, like, delivering stuff for Amazon. Ah, oh, true. Or, or pizza. That definitely pizza. Yeah, Pizza Hut Prime or something like that. that that's pretty fantastic. I was thinking of you more like Ambush Bug, but you threw in the BAM, so that's pretty cool. I'm a, uh, I'm Team Nightcrawler. Wow. Ryan Macklin, it has been it's been super fun having you on the Doctor Tom the Frog show. Thank you for coming on. Well, thank you for having me. Uh, and uh, if you ever uh, need my my assistance, if you ever need my katana, uh, metaphorically speaking, because uh, I think it'd be kind of heavy for you, uh, you have it. You just watched the Doctor Tom the Frog show, and we hope that you liked what you saw, yo. But if it was a big waste of your time, well, it's free, so that's not a crime. But if it was a waste of your time, yes, it's free, so that's not a crime.